Um, Paul, it hasn't been a good run recently, of course. Um, how important is a win, like aside from the points, just for the confidence in the group and you know the, the fans around the stadium? Right? Yeah, for us. Um, you know, obviously this is a, a, an important week for us. A week I think that we've. Um, you know, uh, switch the page uh, on on how we started the season. Obviously, we we haven't started the way that we've wanted to. Um, and playing there, it, it's a tough game. It, it's a, it's a really good challenge for us. It's a great great team um, that we're going to face. Really high energy, um, very um, high pressing style. Uh, and for us, I think it comes at a great time uh, where this week we've we've worked really hard. We've we've kind of addressed the things that need to be addressed. And I think the attitude from the group has been great. And I think the mentality, the attitude, uh, the hard work, the desire will all be there uh, on Saturday. And we're just going to need to be able to uh, execute the plan. You mentioned the high energy, high press of St. Louis. You know, knowing that that's how they're going to play, how do you counteract that, especially away from home? Yeah, uh, you know, there, there's a few teams that play like, uh, you know, the, the similar style to St. Louis. Um, and we've seen a lot of teams have success against teams like that. Um, and, and we've just kind of used some examples from this year, um, some of their losses that they've had, kind of what they've done. Um, and, and it's really being able to use the space uh, and, and use their energy in the way that they like to play against them. Uh, and I think that we have a really good game plan going into the week. We've trained really, really hard. Um, and, and again, I think it just comes down to execution, being able to suffer. I think you know, this week we're gonna we're gonna look like a team that, that really wants to win, which uh, over the past couple of weeks it, it has been has been hard to notice from from our from our side. So uh, I'm really looking forward to the game. I think everyone is, and, and we're looking forward to getting a, another win. What was your feeling about scoring your first goal, and uh, you know, the 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 positives you can take uh, from the Austin match? Um, the feeling is the feeling is 50-50, um, right? Because you, you, I'm a player of a team, team, and um, uh, I'm looking forward for, for for the betterment for the team, for the winning, for everybody confidence to be to be high because we, we are not in in, 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 a, in a good spot right now. So um, the feeling for, for the goal, I was very happy to score because you know then it gives us more time to to be in the game. But um, it it went on the other way. Um, taking the positive side of the goal is always good because I'm 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a striker, so it's always good for the confidence to to move forward and um, build it up. Uh, so yeah, this is this is the feeling. I, I take the positive in it and then I keep working like I've always been doing. Yeah. You scored your first MLS goal at St. Louis last year. What were your thoughts about about the atmosphere there, and how how can you how can we try to get the three points uh, this Saturday? So um, for for the team, uh, I I take accountability. I take responsibility for 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 being a player to be all the time bringing my best in the team. So um, for the whole team, now we are in a moment to to bring that you know uh, next step to to to, to the games. Um, to go to St. Louis, it was it was a hard game there last last time. Uh, what we have to do now is uh, we keep working uh, day by day. And um, for, for me, it's just to be there, you know, compete for me to work hard and then um, we see how it's going to go. Then uh, finally this week, what, 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 what can the team work on to, to help uh, get, get, get the three points? There? Um, uh, we, we know how they, they, they play, very, very aggressive team, uh, pressing high. So um, we're working on, you know, um, you know, being there to compete, you know, running in behind and um, this is what we, we're looking forward to, working very hard to, to find a way to, to win out there. Uh, Nico, it's, it's been a tough start to the season. How much would a win in St. Louis mean to the team just for the confidence and the spirit within the group? Well, I think it's important always to get uh, points and uh, more when you play on the road. Um, we know how difficult it is to get points on the road, but I think the, the, um, even that we are, we're not having the results that, uh, that we wanted and then and the results that we didn't expect and, uh, and also the serve in, in some of the games, I think uh, we are in, um, in, with the confidence and then building that confidence, uh, building that resiliency that we, everything needs, you know. Uh, uh, during the season, you always have these moments where things are not going in your way. And uh, for us, it's, it's coming uh, early this season. Uh, uh, we, didn't, uh, we didn't expect that. But I think we're embracing in, in the right way. I think uh, you can see how this has united more to us, how you know we've worked uh, through the, the week, uh, the family that we are, how we can push each other more, how we can help each other more. And, and um, I think always uh, these tough moments uh, build the mentality uh, to, to have uh, a better season. 
St. Louis has a very distinct style of play with the, the high press, high energy. How do you go about setting up your team to defend against that? Well, I think it's important that uh, we know exactly what they're looking for. I think we, we have to be very compact, uh, very good in, in winning second, first and second balls. And then also the open spaces, you know, the open spaces in transition that we can uh, uh, use to, to score goals. And, and also when uh, they defend in, in their half, they have more problems to build pressure. Hi, Coach. I have uh, two questions. So my first one is just basically the, the feeling of the locker room and you know, what's the spirit of the team right now uh, that you've noticed this week? Well, I think um, uh, the beginning of the, the week, uh, you know, Sunday, uh, disappointment, you know, with disappointment because I think we felt, we felt sure we did uh, – we did some good things uh, in that game, uh, things that uh, we can build um, through that. Uh, but other things that we're still making uh, uh, very, very, you know, silly mistakes, uh, stupid mistakes where uh, the opponent take advantage. And uh, right now, and it's, it's how it goes, you know, when you have uh, confidence and you have results, um, everything goes in your way and when you don't have it, everything goes against you and we have to deal with that. We know that sometimes to get rewarded, uh, it gets uh, a little bit later than, than you expected and that you wanted. But uh, after that is what we're going to do, right? We're at the beginning of the season. Uh, this is MLS. Uh, this is not like in a European league or whatever where if you loses those those games and it could affect uh, the the overall end of the season here is about making the playoff and and arrive in the best form to the playoff and uh, we have good examples in uh, past years about teams that didn't start well and and after uh, they did very well in the playoff um and I think um, uh, Tuesday we we had a good uh Good meeting with the players, um, and I think the the trainings, the the mentality, uh, the atmosphere has been great. Like um, we don't want to be in this situation. No, we we want to win. We we're here to win. Um, and, but in life, in um, in a, in a league, you always have those moments where things are not going in your way with results, injuries, everything. You know, and uh, and we just have to. Um, have composer, calm, and urgency. And how we find that balance, it will be the key. If we now panic or get into frustration or uh, get into not uh, too emotional, um, I think um, uh, it's not going to be good. Um, and this is what we talk. We're all on the same page. And uh, we're you know willing, willing to uh, get uh, a win. Uh, for our fans, for ourselves, for the club, and uh, for our families, and and this is the commitment from the from the group. It's a very committed group, trained like an animals, and um, we're gonna compete against uh, uh, San Luis. My my last question is just talking about the defense uh, making mistakes. How have you analyzed that? Uh, do you feel like it's been uh, communication issues, leadership? confidence or just are tactical issues that have led to those mistakes? Well, I think uh, if you analyze uh, the, the later the goals that we've considered, um, the first goal we are um, well organized. There is numbers. We have more numbers than them. and uh, But we are a little bit late to, to react, um, some of the, the players. Um, in the second goal, is a one v one situation that you have to. It's a duel. You have to win. It's not not other than that. Is we can look for any other, put any excuse on that. But no, it's 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 one on one. It's your your man. You win the duel, and uh, and that's it. It's not a goal. Um, the same as our goal. You know, we one player uh, win two of the those players, and then we score. Goals comes through mistakes, and um, and um, and then you want to avoid that. Um, the other goals that we conceded uh, against Vancouver, they are coming uh, from similar situations. We have the numbers, uh, we are well positioned, and we just lose duels, and uh, we are not winning those duels uh, when uh, before we did, 
and this is why we we were one of the best teams, uh, the, one of the best defending teams in the league. Um, and and now we're not because uh, you know you, the first and basic thing is uh, win your duel, and uh, this is what we um, are working on um, um, tactically, uh, individually, technically. How to jump depending the cross if it's in swinger is is out swinger something that we've done before we did this precision we worked uh, weeks previous to to this game um, but you know this is why uh, it's so difficult um, to do what uh, we did the first two years uh, and it's not easy and we have to think about uh, that uh, in the moment that we turn this around we can't forget that it's still difficult you know let's go to Drew please. Hey, Coach, hope you're doing well this week. Um, first off, I just wanted to get your thoughts on how you're going about things with your formation. You you know, obviously did the 4-3 or the 3-4-3 all through preseason and into the first couple of games this year. Then the last two games, you've been in a kind of a 4-4-2. Has that formation change been more about personnel availability or is it more tactical stuff that you've seen against the opponents that you've been facing? Well, I think, uh, I think uh, we felt pretty good in the whole preseason even you know that we didn't play great um after, uh, against montreal and against uh, red bull i really felt that uh, we 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 were building something on that in that formation um you usually as a coach uh, want to you know analyze something change something that helps the team to get a win i think against vancouver Specifically, you know, the way that we changed to help us on the game plan and how we could. Uh, and to be honest, we played really well the first 25 minutes. The, the problem was that we conceded a goal. Then we conceded the second goal right away. We scored a 2 1, and then right away we con conceded the, the 3 1. And it's like, uh, it, it's coming from a set, set piece. Um, it's not about the formation in the, the, the two goals that we conceded in. The second and the third goal that we conceded against Vancouver, and then in the second half we start the the second half really well. The first ten minutes we could score a couple of goals um, that maybe change the dynamic, and we maybe think about okay, the, the coach is a genius, you know, because they're playing three four three, he changed to four, they win the game, and uh, oh, he's a genius. But we didn't, and then I'm really bad coach. And uh, Against Austin, I wanted to give some continuity, not to go back and forth changing uh, on that. And also for the personnel, Austin, how how they were playing and everything, um, I thought that it could be good uh, to to keep and sustain something that, you know, I saw good things against Vancouver. The issue it was in Austin with the ball. Um, when we did what we planned and we were brave and... and um, and we were connected on on what to do. We we heard them a lot. The problem it was we didn't try much. Like we weren't consistent enough to try it. It was like I don't know if because of the situation, then you lose confidence and then you don't try it. And we are getting trapped on this uh, playing to the fullback too too early, uh, playing to the uh, to petard to our, you know long balls too early, and then if we didn't have the control with the ball that we usually have. It's not like, I'm not saying like we're going to have 70% of possession, but between the other team and us are 50-50, you know? And and, and I think uh, in that particular game, we lost that game because because of that, because we weren't good with the ball. Um, in the moments that we did it, I think we created chances. We had the chance, the answer 1v1 situation, the almost answer a situation, uh, the Polariola uh, shot, uh, two shots. Um, and then uh, we had uh, good movements from Petar at the end of the game. We had a uh, uh, really good crosses from uh, Tiki. Uh, and uh, but if we could do more in the game, I think we could score uh, at least one more goal or two in, in that game because uh, they had issues defensively. And now is what we have to go. You know, we have to go to okay. We have to do better. Um, and uh, and I think uh, having conversations with the players analyzing things uh, and I, you know and obviously like we we went to a three for three for this season for a reason 
It is not because I wanted to go. It is because the profile of players that we have and how we how they fit to uh, different formations, right? Um, and it's something that we have to be consistent, you know. And then we have to. It could be an, an adaptation. We could defend in a four four two, but there is things with the ball that we're not gonna um, start changing and, and and getting getting crazy with that. I think now we need to simplify things, very be very specific and clear on what we want. And uh, and and let the players play, you know, and uh, they, they they play solve the the situations, uh, give them, provide them resources. You know, if we, if we don't have a space inside, then we can go wide, or we can go in behind. If we don't, if we have play uh, space inside, we go inside. You know, simple things inside what we've built throughout the preseason, and uh, and then now competing against uh, any team. And, um, and, and being brave, you know, give confidence to the players, uh, believe to the players, and that they can do well because they've done it well. Yeah, I've seen it. If I didn't see it, I, we we weren't, you know, going back to what we want in, in our identity. You as coach always try to look for the best to get a result to help the confidence on the players. But um, what I felt is like uh, the messaging is you are, we abandon a little bit who we are and then this is that I, don't, I didn't like you know when I saw the team I didn't they didn't feel my team you know they didn't feel the, what we were building our team and it's like no we were building something we stick with that sometimes we get annoying with the results and whatever and you know we die with that we go all 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 in in that the players love the idea you know um, they believe in that and and we just have to give confidence to them and and um, the results will change for sure. Yeah, going into this weekend, you play a St. Louis team that is kind of similar to Red Bulls, a lot of high energy, high press. Obviously, they've had a little bit of a tough start as well, just like you guys uh, giving up a lot of easy goals. How do you make sure that you you don't play too, I guess, tight in this losing streak and essentially cause another loss on the road? in a game that you probably could dominate because again, last year you, you guys dominated St. Louis pretty well across the two games, despite a couple of weird moments. Um, but how do you make sure the team rises to the occasion this weekend? Yeah, I think, uh, uh, I think uh, even for example, if we go back to Red Bull, right. And um, the first 25 minutes, we, we, we weren't good with the ball again. Uh, we were good defending. Like uh, they didn't create much. They scored a goal because uh, a PK and, uh, and uh, but overall, it was a good game away. You know, the opponent in the end create uh, goal scoring opportunities. Um, they scored in a PK, and then after the 25th minute, when we concede the goal, is when we start playing. Then we start dominating them, and we start making our plays. But uh, we miss the last pass, the last action in the final third, and in the second half, when we were the the best team on the team in in, in the game, uh, we we made a mistake with a uh, one ball that we lost. And they did a, a counterattack that we didn't uh, we didn't do well to recover our position. And they scored a second goal. After that, we we went back. We scored a goal, and we could score another goal. But for me, is to have a very similar idea of that game that we did. That is a similar idea, and this is how we approach as the same the same games that we had against uh, San Luis last year. We need to be really compact in a big block. Uh, because they're going to give you the ball, you know. There is not a team that is going to, you know, possess the ball for a long time. They're going to make two, three passes to draw you a little bit, kick the ball long, win second ball, maybe go through or penetrate or switch field to cross. This is what we do, what they do. And then for us, it's going to be very important to win first and second balls. And then in that, we can transition first. If we cannot, just stay calm. Be brave, have the ball, move them around, and uh, they have a high line. You know, uh, use that. We need dancing behind. This is the way that we. It's very clear what we have to do against them, and and I hope like uh, we can deliver the same way that we have trained because the training has been very good. And last bit for me, um, just checking in on injury statuses to Jesus, um, Iramendi, anyone else that's picked up a knock in the last few days. 
Uh, they're doing uh, really well. If everything goes well, Yaramendi, um, Sandy will start training with the group. Um, then um, the next week, he will be the entire week with the group. Um, he's feeling really well. Like he's hitting really good numbers on the fitness size and the trainers are being really, really hard. Um, and then uh, Jesus, I think uh, between Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll know if he can join the team on training. I think Tuesday will be a good day to have a a good uh, assessment on on uh, what his status is uh, because even that is a minor injury, it's close to the tendon, uh, muscle tendon, and then it's like a, you always it's a tricky one. You always need to take usually this this injury he will be ready to play uh, for next week, uh, but because it's close to the tendon, you you will need to have an extra uh, cautious uh, with that. Um, this is what the, the doctor uh, told me. But, you know, we hope everything goes well and he uh, can uh, uh, at least train with the group on, on Wednesday and then after Friday, uh, evaluate where he's at. Thanks, Drew. We'll go over to Sam, please. Hey, Nico. Uh, we've had four games of Peter Musa now. How do you feel about his impact as he's adapting to MLS? Well, I think it's always hard to adapt, and also it's even harder when uh, the team is not doing well. <laughs> and um, uh, he is having a great mentality. He's a warrior, and uh, he. Uh, I just had a meeting with him. We went through some clips uh, the game against Austin, and uh, and we we have a chat also on his role against uh, against San Luis, uh, and showing him some clips from, from the defense, uh, how they defend, how the center backs. Uh, release how they move and the spaces where they are, and um, I think he's understanding every day better. Uh, he he ran almost eleven kilometers the other day against Austin. Like he his work rate is amazing, and uh, he is a good example for for uh, every teammate. Uh, and um, now it's more on us, you know. It's more like um, in the game against Vancouver, we give him the chance to have eight shots, right? then we need to do that. Like, as a team, we have to provide him balls. And then he has to finish. And it's not what he can do more. It's like what we can do more for him. And if we are not brave playing, and if we don't take, you know, our time to build a play and get in good positions to cross the ball, then uh, we're not helping him. And for us, it's, we need to help him. Him because if he scores goals, everyone will say he's adapting amazing to the league. And to score goals, we need to provide uh, that, and it's on us. Also, uh, what have you learned about your squad, yourself, your staff during this streak? You said last year you learned more from your failures than your successes. What has this streak taught you? Well, what I learned is like how difficult it is to to do well in this league, right? Uh, how difficult it is to win a game? How difficult? is to perform well and um and uh sometimes it's like uh we we had a really good precision we play with a lot of like character personality uh with a lot of confidence um and i think it, it, it turned that against us because it set up expectations and desires so high that when things didn't go in our way, not only in results, if not like the feeling on playing, it was different than the feeling that we had in preseason. Um, it, it, it knocked us mentally, you know, it was like, you know, it was, we don't expect that. And it's like, sometimes you, this happened to, to big teams, you know, uh, when you, when you are expecting to do well and, and things are not going in your well, it's like, it takes sometimes, uh, you know, time to to come back, you know, and then uh, and now what we're saying is like, okay, this is uh, this is a league where we have to be humble first. We know uh, we can lose against any team, but we know we can win against any team. And uh, in order to do it, we, we we need to do the extra every single game. And I think we're learning that, you know, and I think we're learning that. Uh, when you make mistakes, um, it, it, it is a consequence on that and can hurt you a lot. 
And now every mistake that we make is hurting us. You know, opponents make mistakes and uh, it, it, it sometimes hurts you, sometimes not. But I think what I'm seeing is, is like how united the group is, how the culture is really strong and how we we set things to our face in order to, to be better. And uh, that trust that we've built, that culture, strong culture that we've built, that we are able to tell us the things that you're not doing well and the things that uh, are difficult to say, we say it, we listen, and we respond. And I think um, I'm really proud of that. And I'm learning that this group is mature and it's uh, all together. And they, they all want the same as, as us, that is win. And in order to do that, uh, we have to have talks, tough talks, and um, address things that are important uh, to 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 help the team to to be in the position that we all want to be. Thanks, Nico. You're welcome. Thank you, Sam. And we'll close down with Paul. Please go ahead. Hey, coach. Uh, Drew kind of mentioned how you know they uh, St. Louis has started out slower this year, but you know they still haven't lost a home game yet this uh, this year. And then obviously they were pretty good home side last year. From your perspective, what is it that they do that kind of makes them such a formidable team at home? And then two, uh, what, uh, are, what's the message to the team to kind of um, try to go there and and, and, t- and knock them off and turn this thing around? Well, I think um, I think uh, uh, there is a their team has different ways to score goals. You know, has set pieces. They're good on that. Um, uh, they are good on uh, transition and they're good on crosses, you know, and uh, and I think they, they have quality players on the top that uh, can make the difference. Um, in the other hand, is a team that concedes a lot of goals, you know, and lately they're having problems to to be stable in the in the back line. And uh, what I've seen is teams that had the opportunity to kill the game and uh, to increase the, the score, they didn't. And it's when uh, San Luis become dangerous because they fight until the last moment uh, and they have uh, they have results in the last minutes uh, lately. And, uh, and and this is the right now the, the difference. But seeing the games that play, that they have played us at home, they, they've had the issues. They had issues to, to you know, just, they won just one game um, and they tie the other games, you know, not being very comfortable. 